Oh, hello there. Yes, well, we made it to Christmas weekend, I'm pleased to say. I am still coughing my guts out, but uh, maybe I'll just feel vaguely more human today. Anyway, it was a very busy day for transy style folk on Twitter and other social media platforms yesterday. There was a huge spotlight on Mum's Net and the kind of festering pool of fascism and that's become but I thought it was worthwhile just picking on somebody well why not James S's let's face it from yesterday he's been quiet for a while I think metaphorically sulking because people laughed at his letter suggesting he was going to take legal action for defamation anyway um, he sort of popped out of nowhere once again just to remind us that his crowdfunder is still going only 28 days to go oh I know last time he said it was only 28 days to go and the time before that when he said it was only 28 days to go but I'm sure this time it really is only 28 days to go before he actually reaches that target and then he can have his day in court which obviously by now he just deserves God should just give it to him, shouldn't it? Anyway, him. Yeah, anyway, uh, he, he was yesterday posting this. Uh, mermaids are on TikTok bragging about the fact they've been speaking to many teachers who have pledged to completely ignore the government's recent trans guidance. This is dangerous collusion. Mermaids must be shut down. Yes, indeed. Except, of course, that's out of baloney, isn't it? Because mermaids aren't on TikTok bragging about anything at all. They've simply films and teachers who are doing things in terms of their job in terms of their knowledge of safeguarding that one James knowledge of safeguarding and have decided that as the government guidance has a few problems with it and presumably on the recommendations of their own unions bodies they've decided to say that they're not going to be following this guidance until it's clarified which is an entirely perfectly sensible legal James position for them to take and mermaids are a charity who are set up to um, promote a particular group of people, which is exactly what they're doing there. I mean, James is quite happy to hang around with the Tufton Street crew and their LGBA buddies quite happily. People who set up a charity and appear to do nothing for the group of people that they're supposed to be for, but an awful lot of things against a particular group of people they're not for. Yes, them. Yes. Anyway, collusion. Yes, isn't it dreadful that groups of people with the same opinion would get together? Not that James would do that. I mean, he wouldn't simply go anywhere that will give him a platform with the exactly the kind of uh, Christio-fascist views that he has. He wouldn't do that. And then finally, of course, the final comment is mermaids must be shut down. Of course it must, James. Imagine a charity not doing the right thing. I don't think the LGBA alone, LGB alliance though are going to be shut down are they you're going to call for them to do so because indeed they represent your last little lifeboat yes indeed anyway but of course at the heart of this is the sure and certain belief that James is right he's always right no matter what organization he gets kicked out of it's always them that's wrong he's right guided by God himself presumably anyway Enough bitching and ranting. It's Friday. I need to get out that door and do those things. Do have a lovely day. Not all of you, perhaps. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>